Hello guys, welcome to my channel and today we'll be learning how to do Salesforce deployments using Ant and Jenkins. As you are aware that Ant is a build tool which interacts with the Salesforce org. It helps with extraction and deployment of the code. It even helps us in deletion of code. And Jenkins is a CI CD tool which we will be using so that our deployments happen automatically. We don't have to perform deployments manually. So let's move on and understand how we can do this integration of Ant and Jenkins so that deployments happen automatically in your Salesforce org. For this to start, we have two prerequisites. One is Ant installed in your local machine and Jenkins installed in your local machine. Previously, I have shown you how to install both of them and do the setup in your local machines. I'll be sharing the links of those videos. And let's put it into application on how we can do the integration of that. To begin with, uh, let's navigate to where your ant is installed. I just want to verify whether my ant is working properly or not. So I will run the command prompt, type in ant, and I can see that ant is working perfectly. All right. So yeah, let's not waste any more time and start with the setup in Jenkins. So if you have already installed Jenkins in your machine, you can proceed with this step. You can type in localhost. Whatever is your local host, just type in that. Press enter, provide your username and password and click on sign in. So once you are into Jenkins, you can set up the entire process. Let me begin with a new job. So I'll click on create a job. You have provided the name. Click on this freestyle project. Click on OK. You can provide a description for your project. I'll provide Salesforce. You have to provide whether you have any source code management or not. I'll provide it as Git because I will be maintaining my repository where my actual Salesforce code is in Git. So guys, I have created this repository and I have pushed my code with all the ant folder structure. And after I have done this, I'll take the HTTPS of this and provide it in the URL. As you can see, I have to provide credentials for my GitHub. So let me provide that. So, guys, I have provided my credentials for my GitHub. After that, you have to select which branch your code is in. So if I go and check, it is in my main branch. So, I'll just type in main. So, you have to scroll down and come to build add build step invoke ant you have to click on this here you have to provide what script of ant it will run let me go through my build.xml file if you check this by default i have deploy code check only so let me copy this and put it in and targets in Vocant. And, and if we click on advanced, we have to provide 
build.xml and properties.xml file locations in your local machines. So I will quickly go and select this location. This is where my build.properties and build.xml files are present in my local machine or wherever you are hosting it, you have to provide that path in the local machine and click on save. All right guys, so we have done the setup and now there is a very important step which we have to follow is to set up the correct environment variables. To do so, click on manage Jenkins in the home page. Click on configure system. and scroll down and search for this global properties. Once you search for it, click on the environment variables. After clicking that, you have to set up the three basic things which we need to invoke the ant deployment. The ant home, provide its path, the Java home, provide its path, and add another one as path variable and you can copy this from your environment variables of your local machine or the hosted machine i can show you how to do that you can click on advanced system settings here's this path this ant home java home you can click on this and edit text and just copy this entire thing and paste it here once it is done click on save and we are pretty much done with the setup of the build. Now to test it out, let us run the job. You can select it from here or you can and start this build or you can click on this job and click on build now. Once I click on build now, a build job will start. You can check in the console output. It is doing the deploy code check only because that is what I have provided. Let us check it in uh, Salesforce org as well, whether deployment is starting or not. So as you can see, this build happened because there was not a, not a very big component. I think only one component I gave for deployment. And deployment is successful in our Salesforce org. Now, suppose you have pushed in some new changes. Let us Let us do that. So this is my repository. I'll click on show in Explorer. And inside my code package file, I have this account layout. So your developers have made some changes in the layout. Now just to give an example, I'll change some values here. I'll remove this section, suppose. I'll click on save. Please don't do anything like this because I'm already aware of the metadata structure. Uh, so it is showing the difference that it has been removed. And I'll commit it to my main branch and click on push origin. So once you push it to the origin, your code update has happened. Now, now the development team will come and ask you to start a new build so that their changes is reflected in the Salesforce org. So what you can do is you can directly click on this build schedule. You can see a new job has started. And we can see a new build has validated successfully. Now this is getting validated only. Let us check the let us check the console output just to be sure and we can see it is successful. Now in our build.xml file we have defined deploy code as the actual deployment because deploy code check only is just the validation. So how to update that if you want to do that change? So click on this job, click on configure 
and if we scroll down we can find the John Lee. Now just to be sure what is exactly our deploy this deploy code command. You can refer all of this from my repository which I will be sharing the link in the description. So let me replace this with deploy code because this is how I have defined in my build.xml file that if it sees a deploy code then the actual deployment against the salesforce org will happen i'll apply these changes click on save and let me start another build and this time it should deploy the code instead of validation let us check the console output it is showing as deploy code instead of deploy code check only which was just the validation and let me refresh this Salesforce deployment page as well. So it is showing there is a new deployment, the actual code deployment that has happened at this time. Let us check in the console output as well that it is showing deployment is successful. So guys, that is how you can define your Salesforce deployment. You can integrate Ant and Jenkins to have a CI CD process. Now you there are more options which I didn't go into details on how you can schedule your jobs or have different build criteria. I just manually triggered the build. So this video was more on Ant and Jenkins and how you can have deployment into the Salesforce org. So guys, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any queries, please put them in the comment and I'll try to get back to you. That's all. Thank you.